So when you see that Paul actually calls preterism or preterist blasphemous, um, like how often do you see the word blasphemous? <laughs> uh, it's a bit rare, but my goodness, right? And uh, when you start to study preterism, you can see what he means. It's just so sad a religion. I, I just ah. Uh, I can't see why they even why they even bother. <laughs> they they've got nothing. There's no rewards. Nothing. You're getting nothing. You you and you've actually got to do works, right? It's um. I can't see any reason why you would even have grace left. And I'll show you why. What's going on? Now. So this is before the Manelia reign. The preterists are talking about after, like after it's all finished. A thousand years later after. All right, so I'll show you why it's, it's stupid for a start. They're just not thinking. All right, they, for, they have to be Jews, all right? There's only one thing left on earth, and that's Jews, and I'll show you why. Anyway, your first group that's raptured, right? You'll see it in um, Second Core 12. I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago. Here's 14 years here, all right? Seven years of seals, seven years of trumpets. He went to the third heaven, all right? So, third heaven is not paradise. It's a different place, okay? So, third heaven, and some go in here to help bring in the great multitude, all right? So, some go to third heaven, some come in here. Uh, bring in the great multitude. Some of them might even go on to be the 144, because they'll volunteer and they'll want to go in and help bring in Judah, right? Grapes over here, wheat over here. So, this is... Um, uh, Leah, which is old wheat, like uh, stored over winter wheat. Um, this one here, mid trip, it's Rachel. Um, that's your main harvest. Alright, 144. Uh, they go to Zion there to learn and, and train. <clears throat> uh, your pit opens here, all your destruction, bad stuff, and really bad stuff happens over there. Two witnesses die. Here's where your dead in Christ rise, because they go into the Manelia reign to help Jesus. All right, so you've got... Uh, they're all Gentiles and house Israel, by the way, all right? And in here is Judah, all right, the grapes. So all this lot are either in heaven, in paradise, all right, or on Mount Zion, or helping Jesus, right? That's the only place Gentiles are, all right? Um... So when you get into this thousand years, the only place Gentiles are, are in with Jesus, all right, in, in this city. Um, that's the only place. Now, if you have a look at the end of Matthew, right, you'll see the Great Commission. The Great Commission is the Jews. They've all come to the realization of who he is, right, and they've been sent out to go and to teach, right, not preach anymore because the mystery's over. There's no more mystery. They've gone out to teach, um, the nations, right, which are all the ones that rejected God in the first place, um, that sort of thing, and they'll be teaching them works, so what God wants, you know, right, how to how, how to keep the feasts and all that sort of stuff. Um, so if you're not keeping any of that sort of stuff, you you're stuffed. <laughs> That's it, and you're basically going to be learning from Jews, right? Everything you do, you have to be um, in the way the, the the Jews are teaching you. So if you're wandering around outside the middle of the rain and you're like not thinking of anything, you're like, oh, should I be a Christian? Should I not be a Christian? That's rubbish because the only thing in the world that would be left is Christianity, right? That There'll be no other religions, nothing. It'll be just that, right? And there'll be destruction or there'll be... Um, like here where, the, where he renews the earth sort of thing, we've still got all the way through here, we're, you know, we're here, we've still got evidence of what went on in history. You've got the sulfur, sulfur balls in in the walls in Sodom and Gomorrah near Jordan, right? You can go and visit it, go and light them up if you want. You can go and visit the chariots on the floor, the ocean floor, um, and see the gold on them. If you want to see that uh, near where Moses part of the water, you can go and see Noah's Ark on um, Mount Ararat. All right, so... Uh, all these things you can go and see, but here, this thousand years, right, which should have only been just recently, there should be some evidence of it, right, something. There's always evidence, physical evidence in a physical world. 
um, a giant mountain came down. There'd be evidence of where that went, you know, or, or you know, God's house up on uh, above the mountains and all that sort of stuff. There'd be evidence. There's, there'd be something there, right? There's nothing. There is no history of this happening, right? Everything else we've seen, there's nothing, no history of this happening. Um, but we still have all the other history from all the Bible, right? All the stuff from Noah, all all the way back. We got it all. We can find it, right? The Bible's been truthful all the way. Everything on the other side of the Manilia reign, right? There's no need for the Bible anymore. It's fulfilled, right? So you chuck it out. It's worthless. It's just not going to do you any good, right? It was only for up to here. There's no point in being a Christian after here, right? worthless your religion is worthless and it's dead it's death right i see why paul calls it blasphemy because you're telling him he's not in christ right by the way all those in christ rise here there's no more in christ after the middle of the reign right you know you're not, you're not going to be in christ right so you guys that are doing this preterism thing it's shocking I, oh, i hate it with a passion <laughs> you've you've got to you've got to stop it or look into it. These teachers that you're watching, they're wrong, right? They're, they're not teachers, actually, they're preachers, because none of them use Esword or Strong's Concordance, right? I, I, oh. I don't know why you want to believe in it. It's a dead faith. It's like the worst of all of them, right? Out of all, them, all the Moses ones, right, there's... There's hope in the other ones. You can, you can, you know, convert over. But you guys, you think you've already got Jesus? You haven't. <laughs> you got nothing, mate. Nothing. All right. God bless.